What is up, Marasalia? It's your boy, Senor, and for today's episode, we will be installing the Atom Plus Mini Driving Light to the all-new ADV160. And we are back here at Gear Works, located at 248 Sierra Raimondo Avenue in Palangay Maybunga in Pasig City. And of course, we'll do a tutorial on how to install it. We'll talk about the specs, the features, and of course, how the finished products looks like. Without further ado, let's go. So let's talk about the specs of the Atom Plus Mini Driving Light that we will be installing today. So this comes with 35,000 lumen, 30,000 hours, 20 watts bulb and it's made out of a Korean lead chip and this will cost you 4,000 pesos and the other things that you need would be the switch and the other stuff here and this will cost you 1,850 so guys you remember Bobby Albert right our master mechanical he will be the one to install the Atom Mini Driving Light to the ADV-160. Take it away, Papi Albert. Ngayon, papakita ko sa inyo paano magka-bake ng Mini Driving Light Atom dito sa new ADV-160. So, sa mga gusto mong pakabit, visit kayo sa bagong shop kami. After you remove the windshield, in order to have access to the wiring, we have to remove uh, this part and it looks like a, it's it's like a, a chest cover so the next part that we are to remove is the entire front cowling this white one you see here to remove this you have to remove the screw in this area and then there are two other places that you could have to remove this tox so there's one over here and one over here so apart from the ones that I've mentioned, there are other hidden screws that you have to keep in mind in order to remove the entire front cowlet. So first off, we have the, the tux found here near the gas area. So there are two. And the next one is the one inside the side pocket. Since all of the screws has been removed, it's time to remove the entire front cowling. After removing the front cowling, the next step is we have to remove the part that holds the visor. And in order to do so, we have to remove this screw and this screw right here. So there are a total of four screws that you have to remove, two on each side. And guys, please remember, once you've successfully removed the screws, you can now lift the visor holder, but keep in mind that your panel gauge is right there. So, please remove the socket that connects your panel gauge to the visor holder. So that's how it looks like. So the next stop is removing the headlight and in order to do that, there are two bolts that we have to remove, one over here and one over here. So once that is removed, we are now able to successfully take out the headlight from the motorcycle. One thing that you have to consider is before removing the headlight, make sure to remove the headlight socket in order for you to be able to successfully remove the headlight from the body. And the ones over here, that's the controller. See the order. Make sure na hindi magkakamali yung 
pagtanggal mo ng kulay pagkabe kasi nagkaawan ng epekto sa ano nagigip unang kulay niya is kulay white okay next niya is kulay green ito ulit green sa second row ng terminal kulay green okay so how do we know how do we know which color the first row is white second uh, row is green. green okay so remember which color did you attach back to the controller because as what papi albert said if it's incorrectly attached it will have an impact on your ecu so that's the entire headlight removed from the adv 160. So after removing the headlight, the next thing that we have to remove would be the gas tank cover in order for us to be able to start wiring the mini driving light. There is a body clip here, a body pin, connecting the gas tank cover and the side panel. There are two of them. So this is the area where the two body pins are located. You have to remove them right from this area before you can take them out. Now that the gas tank cover has been removed, we are now going to install our relay in order to be able to start installing the mini driving light. first thing that we need to prepare is the relay for the mini driving light. How do we do it, Papi Albert? Uh, first, uh, magamit ako ngayon ng Bosch relay, which is uh, mas maganda yung mismo ano niya, uh, quality niya. At the same time, dati, ang ginagamit ko nung before nagwa-wiring ako, puro terminal. Pero napansin ko, katagalan, yung mga terminal, nahuhugot siya pagtagal. Nagkakaroon na ng corrosion, tapos minsan na-UUP na huwag nagdulos siya. Kaya nag nangyayari, nawawala yung contact natin sa mismo mga accessories wear natin. So kaya ang ginagawa ko, hinihinam ko na siya ngayon para mas sure na hindi talaga mahalta yung mismo wiring natin. Tapos gumagamit tayo ng heat sink na wire para hindi na electrical tape, mas okay siya. Pag nilagay natin siya, Hindi na para umangat pa yung, yung electrical natin at hindi magkaroon ng grounded. Katagalan, nung niinit, yung, mga, yung electrical tape, usang bumubo ka. So, gumagamit na tayo na heatsink ngayon para mas safe, para hindi magkaroon ng grounded. Gaganyan mo lang siya, kita mo, para mag-seal. Kung may blower kayo, mas okay. Pero kasi ako, mas prepare ko kasing ganito. So ayan, mas, mas ano siya, mas okay yung ano niya. Hindi siya agad-agad siya magdidikit, hindi tayo ka matatanggal. Ayan. Lalagay tayo ng fuse box. Uh, lalagay natin yung fuse box sa mismong relay natin. 10 amperes. Although meron naman sa relay fuse box si Atom, mas maganda meron pa rin tayo sa pang fuse box para mas safe yung ano natin. Uh, wiring diagram natin. Ito kasi is fuse box for the connection sa motor natin para hindi magkaroon ng void warranty o magkaroon ng malfunction yung problema sa electrical na wiring na wire natin ng motor natin kasi itong fuse na to is para kay Atom lang to yung sa mismong aparato ni Atom para hindi masira itong fuse na to is gawin naman natin to para naman sa motor natin na nakakunek tayo na accessory sa kanya so dalawa yung fuse natin isa kay Atom isa sa motor na ipagkukonektahan natin. So, magkawal ng problema yung ginawa natin kuryente, mga katang taga, matikit sa batik yun, yung mismo positive, walang problema. Puputok lang yung fuse. Hindi maka-apektuhan si ECU, hindi maka-apektuhan yung mismo harness web natin. This is the finished product of the relay that we did. So Papi Albert did a harness wire so that he would be able to attach this along with the other stuff that came with the Atom package. 
So, Papi Albert, what are we gonna do next? Uh, ito yung ginawa natin na Chinese wife for the safety of our unit. Uh, ito yung relay, tapos ito yung mga connector niya. Patap natin dyan dyan sa mismo unit natin. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na if ever not karoon ng problema sa Chinese wire, meron siyang fuse na pupotokin, hindi maatay ito ang si unit natin. So, ito, patap natin itong uh, balas. The Otriatom, dito sa ginawa nating relay, para palakasin niya yung supply ng kuryente ni relay. Kasi kung wala tayong, hindi tayo gamit ng relay, hindi natin mapapalabas yung mismo magandang kuryente o yung mas malakas na ilaw ni Atom. Kung baga naka-atom ka nga, pero yung ilaw mo, parang ordinary ilaw lang din. Hindi mo may bibigay yung tamang supply ng kuryente o yung voltage ng tamang kailangan niya para mapalakas natin, mapalabas natin yung tamang ilaw o yung lakas ng ilaw. So mamaya papakita ko pa paano natin i-install to yung ginawa natin. So si Ato, yung sariling fuse box, si unit natin for accessories wire, may sariling fuse box. So lahat ng ginawa natin is for safety sa ating motor. Hindi lang tayo basta naging installation ng basta lang tayo nagkakabit ng wiring kasi napakasela ni ADB160 lalo't na nakakomputer box tapos uh, masyado mga sela to lalo't sa mga hindi mauna nagkakabit lumalabas ang check engine nito pero mamaya papakita namin o sa next video ni Papi Jepoy papakita namin kung paano tanggalin yung check engine ni, ni ADB160 no. na hindi tayo gumagamit ng diagnostic tools alright so watch out for that So guys, we are now done installing the relay to the ADV160, including the harness wires that Papi Albert has attached to this motorcycle. And the next stop is installing the actual switch with re with fast light and the actual atom bulbs. And Papi Albert will explain what he did to the wire. So, this is the ito yung relay natin naka-connect siya dito sa fuse box ito yung sinasabi kong uh, meron siyang sarili fuse box kasi papunta siya ng accessories wire ito ngayon nakikita niya meron ako isang wire dito ito kasi naka-connect sa accessories wire which is wala tayong pinutol dyan wala tayong in-space dyan uh, plug and play lahat to para hindi na ba-boy yung warranty na uh, kasi inaano nang may-ari nito ayaw niya ma-boy yung warranty so wala tayong splice, wala tayong cut. So, lahat yan nakasakit, naka-plug and play lahat ng ginawa natin. So, ito yung pinapaliwanag ko kanina. Ito yung fuse box ni Relay para if ever na itong kinap natin na wire or accessories wire, magkaroon ng problema, hindi maapektuhan si unit. Ang unang masisira sa kanya is si fuse box. Si fuse natin is 10 amperes. So, ayan siya. So, this is naman, ang pangalawa naman natin is for the Atom Mini Driving Line. Si Atom kasi is meron tong warranty. So, ngayon, kung mali pa ang pagkakabit natin ng Atom na to, pababoy din ng warranty ni Atom. So, ito yung top na pinaka ginawa natin. So, ito si Atom, nakatap din siya dito, papunta dun sa mismong battery, meron siyang sariling fuse din, which is 10 amperes din. So, ayan. Na ikipit na natin, na-install na natin ang ganyan yan, okay na siya. Mamaya ipa-plug and play na lang natin sa mismong battery to. Itatap na lang natin kung positive o negative. Tapos, eto, uh, ipa-plug na lang natin. Uh, eto si switch ng Atom, which is original din. Same din sa Atom yan, kasama sa package ni Atom yan. Tatap na lang natin to dito. Ayan, makikin siya mo ito, meron siya ano dyan, ano dyan, o. Para may pasok mo siya. Dapat nakatutok siya ng gano'n. Okay. Tapos saka mo siya ilalang. So, ayan na siya. Ayan na siya high and low. With passing light. Tapos, ito namang, may makikita ka naman dito kay relay natin ng meron siyang apat na wire. 
which is i-coconnect naman natin itong isa pang panibagong balas ni Atom. Ganun ka special ko si Atom at ganun kas kaya ganun siya kamahal. Ayan, meron siya kapatawan. Tatap natin yan dito. Tatap natin yan dito. After that, magtapap natin yan. Meron pa matikirang sa akin. Yun na ngayon nung i-coconnect na natin sa bar. So, yan dito. Ni Atom. Guys, so far this is the current update of our mini driving light installation and as of now, Papi Albert is done attaching the additional ballast to the main source and he will be explaining what will happen next. So, dito naman sa pagtabit naman ang relay, ah, ballast nitong separate na mini driving light natin, Bal. Mag-iba ng polarity ng kulay ito, kung mapapansin nyo, dito sa mismo main, ang kulay niya is black, blue, red, green. Pagdating naman dito sa mismong balas ng uh, papuntang mini driving light, black, red, yellow, and white. So, ganito gawin natin. Yung black sa black, tapos tong red sa red. Ayan ang top niya. Tapos tong yellow sa blue. Okay. Tapos itong white, dito sa green. Okay, just for recap, red is to red, black is to black, blue is to yellow, and then white is to green. Okay, so ito, ano muna natin, para makita nyo muna ng ano. Tapos, uh, kunin natin tong socket, tap natin dito. Para sa mini driving light. So, ito siya. Tapos, itong isa naman, ito na yung switch. Ito yung switch niya. Tap natin dito. Make sure na dapat tama yung gitli niya. Okay? Let's separate lang muna natin para hindi magkadikit-dikit. Kaya, may importante pag kayo magtetest ng ganito, mas uunahin yung balutan, yung mismong black. Kasi yun yung negative, eto kahit magkadikit-dikit, okay lang. Kasi pares, pa, lahat yan panay positive yung tatlong yan. Which is, yung, white, yung red is for uh, high and low na yellow and white. Tapos, etong yellow is yellow. etong white is for white. So, kahit magkadikit-dikit, okay lang. Basta isip nyo lagi yung black, dapat nakatalo yan. Para hindi magdikit dito. Dahil pag nagkadikit dito, although meron naman tayong fuse box na puputok siya, kaya lang mas maganda yung safe pa rin tayo sa ganyan. So, ayan na siya. Patapos nito, puta tayo sa battery. Tatap na ngayon natin yung mismo positive and negative sa battery. Negative. Ito yung fuse box ni mini driving light. Ito yung fuse box ni accessory light. Ayan, nakatap na siya dyan. Mamaya ayusin natin yan. Kung ba, for example, mo tayo testing. Okay, naka-on na siya. So, test natin. Yellow. Tapos yung yellow. High beam. Yung gitna, patay. Low beam is white. So, ngayon, ito, ang kagandaan kay Atom, meron siyang passing light cell call. So, dito, pag naka-yellow naka -yellow beam ka, pag pinindot mo to, okay, tapos pag inon mo, uh, mo siya, pwede din siya mag-passing light. Off mo siya, ayan, nagpapasing na siya. Okay, para mamatay siya, on, uh, press mo ulit siya. Okay. Tapos ngayon, pag in mo siya, pwedeng dual. Kung gusto mo naka-steady, yellow and white. Switch mo lang. And then, pag gusto mo mag-bibling, another press. Okay. Hindi ka na pindot ng pindot. Automatic. Nagpapasing siya ng ganyan. Para siya nag-hazard. So, yun. Mamaya, ipapahaman na natin to. Okay na siya. This is how the wiring looks like after the installation is and as you can see it's very neatly done and that's one thing that's good about Papi Albert is really good when it comes to wiring and make sure that when you open it it looks nice and it looks clean you don't see a lot of wires running around so that's always a kudos to him so now Papi Albert is putting back the headlight because we're done attaching the mini driving lights here over at this area 
and I will show you how the finished product looks like once everything is done and we are also going to do uh, a real life test on how strong and how bright the Adam Plus mini driving light is at night. Mga kasali, we are now done installing the Atom Plus mini driving light to this ADV160 that we have here. And we are now about to show you how it performs in a real life situation. Here we go. This is low. And this is high. And then turn it off. Press the back part. Press one more and that's the blinking. So that's basically how it performs. So if you are interested in having your mini driving light installed, I will leave their contact information in the description of the video so you can reach out to them and inquire how you can do just that.